These are soon going to become your favorite ice cream topping. We're making my French toast nuggets. So I recently did this recipe for my daughter and a bunch of her friends where I thought the French toast is just too big. So I'm gonna cut it into squares or nuggets like I told them. And it is just delicious. They are beautiful and crunchy and soft in the middle, just the right amount of sweetness and they are perfect for the ice cream topping as I found out later. So what you wanna do first is get your bread and the bread I'm using today is a brioche loaf. It is a sweeter bread. Um, it is a bread that will get nice and soft but crispy on the outside. But you could use any bread for this, preferably white bread. But what I do do is just cut the crusts off and that way on all sides, I'm gonna get a nice crunchy outside when we cook them. So put the bread to one side and now we're gonna get started on our egg wash. Classic French toast, the sweet French toast anyway. Into a bowl, I'm gonna be adding in our eggs, the milk, and I'm using whole milk here. Don't use skim because the skim milk, uh, you want that fat in there to hold everything and bind everything together. Some sugar, some caster sugar or super fine sugar and some vanilla bean paste. And you know I love this stuff. If you don't have vanilla bean paste, use the extract or essence. And of course, you can still use a vanilla bean pod and scrape out the seeds, of course. So whisk that together well, get everything combined and just put it to one side. And now, very simply, we're gonna set up our cinnamon sugar just into a small bowl. I'm gonna be putting in our caster sugar again or super fine sugar and adding our cinnamon to it because we're gonna be rolling the French toast nuggets in this cinnamon sugar once we're finished frying them up. So over a medium heat in a pan, I'm gonna place our butter in. And the butter gives us that nutty flavor that we're after. It gives us some great color on the French toast. Just gently melt it down. And then I want you to place in the bread into the egg wash, coat all sides, and then gently lift it out and place it into the hot pan with the butter. Now this is a little time consuming in that if you put all of your bread into the egg wash now, it's gonna go really, really soggy. It's something you wanna do at the very last minute just before you put it in the pan. Turn it over and you're after this beautiful golden brown on each side. And keep that process going, take them out, cut them into squares and then roll and dip them in the cinnamon sugar. So for me, each side, I usually have it for about a minute and 30 each side depending on the size of your pan. I'm using a smaller pan here because I'm trying to contain the heat in a very, very small space, get an even coating. And serving is really, really simple. Stack them high on a plate. And this is optional, but I do it anyway. Drizzle it with some pure maple syrup straight over the top. And you can have them as is. You can have them, like I said, I had leftovers and I put it on a little bit of vanilla bean ice cream and oh boy, oh boy was that just heaven. So really they're not nuggets in a sense. I call them nuggets so the kids would eat them. They really are just mini French toast pieces, but I found for the kids they were easier for them to handle. They didn't waste anything or anything like that. And it was just the right size. So if you're planning on having a little kid's party or just a, if your friends are having a sleepover and you're gonna, you wanna make a breakfast in the morning all for them, then this is perfect. The recipe is in the description below. Please check it out. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it around with your friends and family, and I'll see you real soon for another recipe.